Hi guys, Ray here from City Fan TV. Hope you're all doing very well. I'm still in Grangemouth, up in Scotland, about half an hour or so from Edinburgh. And uh, top tip, guys, if you ever want to stay around here, stay at Grange Burn House. Very nice being B. I stayed there last year for a couple of nights and uh, this year as well. And another top tip, don't go to the Kismet, uh, I think it's Kismet Tandoori. Shocking pizza, and if you guys know <laughs> regulars know I like my food. I don't leave food. Uh, I eat lots of it and uh, I had to give up on this piece. It was disgusting and the s'mores were tiny and not very good. When you come from Manchester or the surroundings uh, you know what uh, good food is like. I certainly didn't get that last night. Anyway, anyway move on, move on because uh, a, a couple of weeks ago there was uh, some rumours come out and then it went a bit quiet and then the resurface now about Taylor Howard Bellis. I think his full name is Taylor J. Howard Bellis. A very short middle name there. Uh, he's a defender. He's, oh, I can't remember his age now, 21 I think he is now. He played for the under 21s in the Euros. As, uh, we won. I think he was captain there as well. Uh, so I'm lifting that trophy with a few of the City lads there. Um, now he's a He's a defender. I think he's uh, I think he played at centre back. I've even seen him play at right back uh, once or twice. Um, and he's another one, he's a local lad um, from Stockport. Joined City. I think he was only six years old when he joined City, and he's been uh, here for a long time. But last uh, four stints have been out on loan. Uh, a couple of seasons, a few seasons ago, he went out to Blackburn. I think he's done Stoke. Uh, did he go over to Anderlecht? I can't remember exactly. I think when Vinny Company was there. And he's been at Burnley. He was at Burnley last season when they were in the Championship. He played a bundle of games, I think, in the league. About 30-odd games, 32, 35 games, something like that. He had a pretty good season, I thought, overall. Obviously, Burnley clinched uh, promotion uh, to the Premier League. And... We've already had Burnley knocking on our doors, taking James Trafford off us for between 17 uh, and 19 million quid. I was surprised actually that Burnley didn't look at Taylor Howard Bellis. I thought maybe they might try and get him on loan again for another season uh, or maybe buy him because I didn't see him coming back to City, sadly. Um, and that's just that's just the nature of the beast. I've said it many times, we've got so many uh, academy uh, kids that are not just good some of them are very very good and uh, there's just no space I mean come on, where's, where can Taylor Howard Bellis fit in amongst this uh, city defence when we've got let's just step down from here we've got you know, at centre back you've got Ruben Diaz you've got Johnny Stones Aki Nathan Aki Manuel Akanji, even Laporte's going to end up leaving because with that competition, he can't get a look in. So, where does Taylor, what chance does Taylor Howard Bellis have? Pretty much uh, nil in my, in my book. Um, at, at City, and it's one of these things Rico Lewis, yeah, you know, Rico Lewis is coming through, he's shown some precocious talent. Um, he's, I think, 17, 18 years old now. Um, and he's got a, a chance because he's come through at 17. Uh, he didn't go away, and I think he's going to be stick, stick around. It's just sometimes it's a combination of things. You've got to have the skill, you've got to have that ability, you've got to have the temperament, okay? And you've got to have that little bit of luck, and you've got to work hard. And I think, you know, <laughs> the moon and the stars have aligned for. Uh, Rico Lewis, but they didn't align for Taylor Howard Bellis, and as I said, I think that's just the way it is. So I'm lucky for, for the lad, um, but it looks like he, he's another one. Uh, he's 21 years old, he has to do something. You can't keep sending kids out on loan, and it seems a natural right sort of move for, for him to go out on a permanent deal somewhere. Okay, now, being Having played so well for Burnley last season in the Championship, you know, as, they, as I said, they won promotion. You'd think he could easily handle um, anywhere in the Championship, obviously, or somewhere in the Premier League. Okay, maybe not one of the top clubs. And forgive me for saying this, West Ham, even though you did win a European trophy, 
uh, last season and there's only one other English club that can say that um, it's going to go to West Ham that's where it's looking likely and you know with all due respect they, they struggled the last couple of seasons I think um, but prior to that they've had a couple of good seasons so um, it's, it's another good opportunity uh, for a, a City kid I mean obviously they, if they're getting Borges as well and they're paying decent money and I think this is the key this is the key for me uh, when kids are looking to where they go obviously you're always going to look at either going to your, your boyhood club look at Brahim Diaz going to Real Madrid or you're going to look at uh, the, the highest level possible that's all that's not always the right thing um, to do I, I, I don't believe but I've said it um, in, in several videos before I've said it for years if a uh, buying club is being a decent transfer fee then there's a good chance that they you know that investment they want to see it rewarded they want to see it come to fruition so they're gonna put a lot of effort and I give a lot of opportunity to the, the kids that they buy. So there's talk of West Ham paying £15 million for Taylor Howard Bellis. Now, that's the sort of number you can't just throw away. You can't just toss it aside and say, if he doesn't work in the first few games, let's forget about him, let's move on. Okay, like Forrest did with Aaron Murich, as I said before, they were paying his wages, whatever that was, might have been five or ten grand a week, maybe a small. Uh, loan fee he, he had a bad game in the first one or two games and they ditched him they moved on they moved back to some an older keeper and Mewich's loan was an absolute total waste of time to Nottingham Forest and Mewich was on loan at uh, Burnley as well last season I uh, saw him play he was alright but Burnley moved on they got another keeper from Europe young keeper and then they got James Trafford so He's going to be, I guess, their number one. Uh, but go, move, going back to Taylor Howard Bellis, um, West Ham's going to be a good, it will be a good move. And it looks like uh, David Moyes, he's going to be changing tack, you know. He's getting someone like uh, Carlos Borge and uh, Taylor Howard Bellis, if he gets those two from City. He's getting players who've got the Manchester City DNA built into them okay uh, you know Borges has been at City since I think 2015 uh, Taylor Howard Bellis has been here as I said since he's, he's been 15 years so he's been here since about 2008 okay so they've gone through the system the academy system at City they've got that that uh, possession based football DNA built into them so you know maybe David Moyes is going to look for a different route because to be honest if he tries to do the same thing again this season I reckon he'll get found out we, we saw the last last season he got found out he, you know they, they scraped it through at the end of the season and, and ha actually uh, moved up up the table when they were struggling near the bottom for ages uh, and won the Europa Conference League so actually it was a pretty decent season at the end but they were struggling for long periods uh, at the foot of the table so they can't go through that again and maybe David looks at this as his last hurrah yeah Moise is looking at it and saying uh, let's go out with the bang and maybe if he changes his uh, tactics a little bit uh, changes from his old-fashioned ideas um, and goes down a more possession based footballing approach playing proper football um, then maybe he might surprise a few people. Maybe he has a good season and maybe he gets a new contract. I mean, you know, can you imagine if West Ham finished, you know, seventh or eighth, did well in the Europa League? Maybe Moise gets another year or two contracts, maybe, and, you know, if he wants to stay. And then that, that could be good news all round. So, um, moving back to Taylor Howard Bellis. Um, yes, another one. He sat, I said it, uh, did a video. Uh, the day on, on, on all these kids that are leaving um, you know you feel sad because you want them to succeed at, at City you want them to come back especially when they're local lads you want them uh, to make it and some of them will make it you know hopefully Cole Palmer will make it at City another local lad um, but you, you've you know you've seen you know people like Tommy Doyle he ain't coming back in, in my opinion but you've seen 
other you know, Fordham, obviously local lad who's who's made it, and there'll be others. Rico Lutz has been at City a long time, so there will be kids coming through who will make it at City. But sadly, I, I don't think Taylor Howard Bellis will be one of them. But I think he's got the potential in him to have a good, successful career at a high level. <laughs> Where that is, it you know, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But we've seen with someone like Romeo Lavia. He's still only 19 years old. He had to leave City to get game time. You know, he, he's not going to push uh, Rodri to the side. And he went to Southampton and look at him now. You know, he went on a, a 10 million deal to Southampton. I think we sold him for something around that level. And this talk of uh, Liverpool being interested, this talk of Chelsea being interested, even West Ham, willing to pay up you know, 40 or 50 million quid for this kid. So his stock has risen exponentially since he's moved from City. And who's to say it can't happen to Taylor Howard Bellis as well? Uh, I wish the kid all the best if he ends up uh, at West Ham. And uh, I think West Ham will have a decent player on their hands. And it's up to the pair of them, West Ham and Taylor Howard Bellis, to see how far he can go in the game.